<laughs> so welcome back. Namaste to all of you. Uh, just to give you an idea of what we are doing today. Um, in fact, we will be doing a very relaxing um, uh, stretches and uh, also we will be focusing on meditation. Right? So as we are going to stay in the pose or, or asana, we will be focusing deeply on our breath and trying to make that a meditative practice. So stay focused, keeping your mind calm, understanding your body and feeling the stretch and going deep into your joints and stretching the entire body. So start by sitting tall, roll your shoulder back and down, hands can be on the knee, turning the palm up, index finger thumb together, close your eyes. And connect with your breath. Holding your breath. Your inhales. And exhales. Just a few moments. Bringing awareness into your breath. Allowing your body to relax. The technique of one point focus. You're focusing on the breath. Diverting your attention inward and scanning through your body, your physical body, and your emotional body. Noticing any stress, pain, sensations, tightness. And breathing into it, and allow the breath to be the to be the catalyst to dissolve the sensations, tightness, pain. And notice your mind. Slowly, the mind relax. The muscles relax. Weight of the body pressing down on the sitting bone. And slowly bring awareness back to your breath. Noticing that rhythmic pattern of breathing, the focus breathing, natural breathing. And slowly bring both your hands to the heart center. Thumb pressing onto the center of the chest. Fingers together. Shoulder relax. Take a deep inhale.
One last time. Keep the eyes closed. Feel the cooling effect throughout the body. Breathe normally. Gently open your eyes. Take both your hands to the side of the body. Make a fist and circle your wrist clockwise. And as you circle your wrist, slowly take both your hands up towards the head. So you're moving the wrist as you raise both your hands slowly up. Now from there, when you bring your hands down, reverse the circles. Reverse the circles. So anti-clockwise, yes, your wrist is moving anti-clockwise and bring it down and let's change that. Clockwise, reach both your hands up, circling your wrist, reach your hands over the head and as you reverse the circle anti-clockwise as you lower your hands. Let's do that one more time. Circling your wrist, keeping the fist tight, and take it up, and reverse it as you bring it down. Relax. Release your hands. Roll your shoulders a few times backward. Entire shoulder girdle is moving. One more and reverse the circles. And relax. Now bring both your hands, interlace the finger, palm facing down. Keep the top of the palm onto the chin. As you inhale, slowly lift the elbow up. Exhale. Elbows down, inhale, lift the elbow if you can, lift the chest up, look up, exhale, bring your elbows down, inhale, lift the elbow up, exhale down, one more last time, inhale, lift the elbow up, exhale down, relax, release both your hands. Take both your hands behind, interlace the fingers behind you and press the hand away. Now squeeze the shoulder base. Take a moment to observe the shoulder base. Now as you press the chest forward, your collarbone is widening and squeeze the muscles between the shoulder blades. Hold it there. If you can, lift your hands up slightly, lift your hands up. Only as much as you can. Don't push yourself too much. Keep breathing. Really feeling that broadening of the chest. Collarbone widening, opening up your chest, squeezing the shoulder blades, giving a nice stretch on the arms. Few more breaths. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more deep inhale, exhale. Next inhale, lift the chest up as you exhale. Turn yourself towards the right. Turn. Twist. Keep your hand as it is. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep the neck neutral. You're not looking down. Looking towards your right side. One more deep breath. Inhale. Come back to center. Exhale. Over towards the left. Lift. Twist. Pointing the finger towards the back and towards the other side of the body. You're looking away from your hands. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep inhale. 
And exhale. Slowly next inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, release your hands. Shake your hands off. Now, now point both your hands to the side. Your fingertips are touching down onto the side. Your palm is facing forward. You're going to take your left hand and hold on to the right side of your head and gently pull the head towards the left side. So you're not looking down, you're looking forward, feeling the nice spread throughout the right side of the neck, through the right shoulder and till the fingertips. If it's possible for you, slightly slide your right fingertip away from you. And really observe the spread throughout the side of the body, side of your neck. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more deep inhale and exhale. Yes, release your right left hand, bring it down to the opposite side. Bring your right hand up, hold on to the left side of the head and gently pull, gently. Or maybe just the weight of the hand itself is good enough. So you don't have to pull it hard. Reach that left fingertip away from you and notice that stretch. That's most important, the feeling as you are in the pose. Feeling the stretch through the side of the neck, through the shoulder, till your left fingertip. And stay and breathe. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more deep inhale and exhale. Slowly release, relax. Hands onto the side itself, tuck your chin, feel the stretch. When you tuck your chin, you're not dropping the head actively down. You're feeling that you're holding something between the chin and the neck. So that gives the extension of the back of your neck, your cervical spine, really extending and creating space between that vertebras. Now from here, inhale, chin up. As you lift the chin up, feel that your chin is pointing up towards the ceiling. So you feel a nice stretch through the front side of the neck. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, tuck your chin as if you're holding something between your chin and your throat. Inhale, chin up. Exhale, tuck your chin. One more last time. Inhale, chin up. Exhale, tuck your chin. Look forward. You can release the hand onto the knee. Gentle circle up on your neck. So you're going to do that maybe anti-clockwise a few times. Smooth circle. As you're circling your neck, notice any sounds. That is what the body is talking to you. Breathe in and out. One more in the same direction. And reverse the direction. Come back to the center. Left. One more last bit here for the shoulder and your neck. You're going to reach both your hands up. Bend your left hand. Hold your right hand on your left elbow. Slowly pull the elbow towards the back. You can either hold it here or you can take a Bhomugrasana bind from behind. If you can touch the finger behind, hold and bring your hands closer to each other. Lift the elbow up. Keep breathing. It's a great stretch for the shoulders. Those who can, bring that right elbow closer to the body and take your left elbow behind the head. Chin is parallel to the mat. Hold, keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Oh, my deep inhale. If you're holding onto the strap, walk your hands closer to each other as much as you can. Your left shoulder is externally rotated and your right shoulder internally rotated. Whoever that was helping, thank you so much. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. So when you release, release the hand very slowly. Very slowly. And shake your hands off. Shake, 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 shake. Beautiful. Yes. To the opposite side, reach both your hands up first. Bend your elbow, hold your left hand onto the right elbow and gently pull it backward. And release your left hand and take it behind you. Hold, keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, deep. Exhale, slightly adjust if you can, bringing that left elbow slightly closer towards the body, right elbow behind the head, or maybe walking the hand closer to each other even more, gripping the fingertips even more. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale deep. Exhale. Oh, deep inhale. And exhale. Release the hand slowly. Bring it forward. And shake, shake, shake. Yes. Shake your hands off. Rotate your shoulders a few times. Now bring both your fingers onto the shoulders, elbows together. And circle the shoulders a few times backward. And reverse the direction. All right, good. Now, last bit, you're going to take both your hands forward, take your left arm over the right into your Gandhasana bind. So, your left arm over the right, twiny hands, hold onto the fingers. And now from there, bring the elbow up to the level of the shoulders and take your hand away from you slightly. So you will get a 90 degree angle onto the elbow. Hold. You can stay here, keep breathing. So you can observe the stretch, observe that shoulder blades coming away from each other. You feel an intense stretch onto the muscle between the shoulder blades. Feeling a nice stretch through the upper back. Big inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more deep inhale, exhale. Now slowly lift the elbow up slightly more. Looking at the fingertips, keep breathing. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Bring your hands, the elbow to the level of your shoulder. And then you're going to turn yourself, turn your elbow towards the right. As if you're pulling your left elbow towards the right side. So deepening in that stretch onto the left, elbow, left shoulder. And through the back of your body. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale deep. And exhale. Notice the stretch. Breathe into the sensation. And on the next inhale, come back to the center. Release your arms. Shake your hands off. Relax. To the opposite side. This time, take your right arm over the left. Interlace the fingers. 
Lift the elbow up and take your hand slightly forward. Take your hand slightly forward. Already you can feel a nice stretch through the upper back. You can feel the shoulder blades coming away from each other. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep inhale. Exhale. Now slowly lift the elbow up above the shoulder. Look up towards the fingertip. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more deep inhale, and exhale. Bring the elbow to the level of your shoulder and turn towards the left side this time. Gazing towards your left, feeling the stretch on your shoulders. Keep breathing, finding a gentle twist on the spine also. But here we are majorly focusing on the shoulder. Keep breathing, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. It's a great stretch for your shoulders. Garudasana arms. Really stretching the deltoids through the upper back. Next inhale, slowly come back to the center. Exhale, undo your hands and slowly shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. Yes, we are done with that upper body stretch. Relax your hands, release your legs. Slowly, yes. Shake it off. Shake, shake, shake. Yes, bring both your feet closer together. Feet together, open the knees to the side. Let's release the stress. Butterfly knees, keep moving. Yes. Use the momentum. Just keep moving, fly up high, keeping the chest and spine straight, rolling the shoulders back, chin is parallel to the mat, aim to the ground and then keep moving the knees up and down. Both your sitting bone is pressing down, you are extending through the spine. Yes, open the elbows to the side, gently lean forward, so that can avoid this. Or stay as much as you can, keeping the spine long, or maybe going deeper if you can. Big inhale and exhale. As you press the feet together, you can activate the inner thigh and press the knees down slightly. Inhale deep and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more deep inhale, and exhale. Slowly lift yourself up. Bring both your knees together. Hug your knees. Bring the knees closer towards your chest. If you wish to, you can round your back and rest the forehead on your knee. Lift your chin. Relax and then come onto your mat into your all four position. Knees right below the hips, hands right below the shoulders, tailbone tucked under, round your back, tuck your chin as you exhale. Inhale, reversing the movement, tilting your tailbone back, dropping the shoulders down, chin up and look. So what you're doing here is articulation of the spine. You're moving the entire spine. Inhale, reverse in the move. Exhale. Inhale. One more last time. Exhale. Inhale. Coming back to the center, into the neutral spine. You're going to take your right leg forward between the hands. You're going to take your right leg slightly in front of your hands. 
So if slightly more, you feel the stretch on the hamstring and the glute. If possible, slide your left knee slightly more backward. You can either flex or point your left toe behind, hanging here. Maybe your right toe is slightly lifting up. Keep pushing the hip down and feel the stretch on the hamstring and your glute. On, maybe on the crease of your butt, where the hamstring and the glute is getting connected. Hold it here. You can just stay here or maybe gently swing your hips side to side or sway your hips side to side. Anytime, instead of staying in the pose, if you have slight movement, that ease into the outer layer of the body, the fascia and the connective tissues. So easing into those outer layer to go deep into the joints. As you're staying here, you can also feel onto the left hip flexor area and left quadriceps. Any point of time, if the left knee is having issues, sensitive knee, slide a blanket under the knee or a towel or slowly fold the mat one more time and place the knee on top of it. So don't feel any pain here, just make yourself comfortable. Swing your hip side to side and slowly press that right foot firmly onto the ground and gently push the hip down, extend your spine and stay, keep breathing. And notice the meditation is noticing your body. Your muscles are made with different strands. So stretching the strands of muscle, some of you might be feeling that tightness into that one single strand. That is where you need to focus and breathe into. And as you exhale, relaxing into that area and letting go. Instead of working from outside, we are working from inside of the body. So calling into that inside of the body. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Now from here, you're going to slowly push the hip backward. Just for a few moments, you're going to straighten that right leg. Flexing the foot. Spread your toes wide. Pushing your hip backward. And try to lengthen through the crown of the head. And stay. You don't have to go all the way down, but if you have the range of motion to go down, you can go down deep in that forward fold as well. If not, just stay. It's a great stretch for your hamstring and the back of the leg. Maybe your calf, even your ankles. Hold, keep breathing. Some of you, you are very tight. You are not able to straighten the knee. Not a problem. Keep the knee bent slightly and then straighten slowly. You can keep moving around here. Again, don't have to stay static. Bend your knee and straighten. So that ease into the outer layer of the body. So like your muscles, this outer layer of the body are stubborn tissues. So you have to find a little bit of movement to ease into it. When you are sitting for a long time in a chair or at your desk, these are the areas you generally get tighter. Not just tighter, it gets weaker as well. So giving it a nice stretch. Opening into those areas. Finding a good range of motion as you stretch. The whole purpose of the stretch is to find the range of motion and bring grace into your movement on a regular basis. From here, slowly push the hip forward. Now you're going to take your right hand inside of your right foot and walk your right leg outside of the mat if possible. Coming into your lizard stretch. So it's the same stretch, but there is a difference in the angle of hip opening. That's only a difference. It's a slight difference in the angle of hip opening. Keep breathing. Few breaths. Inhale, exhale. Here also you can sway your hips side to side. Or maybe if you want to flare, open that right knee towards the right side. 
placing the outer edge of the right foot onto the ground and opening your hip even more. And some of you would want to open up deeper into the hips, slowly walk your hand away from your mat. So you're walking your hand away from your right leg. So that means you're walking your hand away towards the left side. Keep breathing. Also, keep moving your hips side to side, swaying your hips side to side. Going deep into the ligaments and the joint capsules. As you stretch deep, it's separating the joints, creating space between the joints. As you breathe, you're sending the nourishment into the joints. Few more breaths here. Anytime when you go into advanced position, if you want to come back or shift and then take a breather, anytime feel free. Come back into the natural, the previous position and then take a deep breath. Rest or if you want to join back, come back and get that deep stretch. So our focus is on the breath. Some of us struggle to stay focused. So anytime you're aware of thoughts coming into your mind, slowly pull it back or harness it and bring that breath under control and the mind under control, focusing on the breath. And slowly from here, you're going to walk your hand back into the mat. Press the foot and walk your leg towards the left side this time. Into a different angle of hip opening. Into your PG. So you can either keep the shin parallel to the front of the mat. If that is a great struggle for you, if you have tight IT band, slowly take your right ankle towards the left hip. Keep the hands in front to start with. Now bring your awareness to the left leg. Your top of your left thigh is pressing down onto the mat. Your top of your toe is pressing down. Slide the knee backward and sink your hip down. And notice your chest. Your chest is square forward. Opening up your chest depending on the range of motion you have, what is available for you. You don't have to push here. Just respect your body, be kind to your body and breathe in way. Full deep inhale and exhale. So this is a great stretch for your glute. And deeper into the glute is your pericomus. So those muscles are stretching. Hip opening into external opening into a different angle. And also when you are in this position, you are finding a compression on the back of the body or on the back of the body. Spine is extending, the muscles on the back of the body is compressed, including the left glute is compressed. Few breaths, long inhale, soft exhale. Every exhalation you are trying to soften it. And that way you are letting go. Your body relax, mind relax. You are suddenly into the pose. And a deep inhale. And exhale. Now slowly walk both your hands forward. Extend your hand. Feel a nice stretch through the spine. And bring your forehead down. If bringing the forehead down is a struggle for you, elbow down. Keep looking between the hands. Or rest the forehead on your palm. And hang in here. You can sway the hips side to side. Finding the stillness of the mind. That is the ultimate aim of your practice. You 
You okay? Few breaths here. And slowly lift the chin up, walk your hand back, and then slowly lift yourself up. Beautiful. Now curl the left toe and slowly get your right leg back. Going back into your all four position. This time you're going to walk the knees backward and slowly swirl the entire body, easing into the hips, releasing any stress on your hips, easing that hips. Allowing all the benefits of what you just now did to be absorbed into your body. Sending the circulation into those areas we have stretched. Sealing all the benefits into yourself. And reverse the direction as well a few times. And relax. Walk your knees forward. This time take your left leg forward. Left leg forward. And change. Left leg forward. Right knee goes back. Walk your left leg in front towards the front of the mat. Slightly in front of your fingertips. Hold. Lifting the toe up. Slide your right knee backwards slightly and feel the stretch on the hamstring. So you can adjust the feet as much as you feel the stretch on the hamstring and the crease of the butt where the hamstring is connecting into your glute. Swing your hips side to side. Again, watch that knee. If you have sensitive knee, your kneecap, Keep a towel or soft cushion or something onto the knee so that you don't feel the pain there. Gently swinging the hips side to side. Easing into the hips. Stretching and releasing that outer stubborn layer of tissues. And breathing into those areas. Noticing that right quadricep this time. Right hip flexor area. Breathe. Sending that breath evenly. Equal breath. Equal in here and equal exhale. Two more breaths. So last few movements, you can press the foot down, press the left foot down, sink your hip down slightly more, deepening the stretch, hold, keep breathing. One more deep breath. Now slowly lift your chest up. Walk your hands slightly closer to start with. Straighten the left knee. Flex your foot. Point the left foot towards you. Spread the toes wide. And then walk your hand forward slightly. And then fold it as much as you can. So deep stretch through the left leg. Back of your left leg. Your achilles, your calf muscle, your back of the knee, your hamstring, and your glute. And throughout the back of the body. Relaxing your belly. Notice if you can slightly more deepen that forward fold, you can go deeper. If not, just stay as you are. Keep on flexing that left foot, spread the toes wide. So 
can move your grip too tight. You can bend your knee and straighten a few times as you're holding on to these poses. That ease into the hamstring. All right. Breathe. Keep that focus on your breath. Moving meditation, that's what we're doing now. Now from here, slowly bend your knee, lean forward, press the hands, and this time take your left hand inside of the left foot, walk your left foot outside. Pressing both your hands, now push the hip even more down, sinking your hip down, stay as you are, and gently start moving your hip side to side. First, to ease into those joints, making your body hips comfortable in the position you're going to hold, swaying your hips side to side, opening up into your joints. Your hip is the largest joint in your body. And the joint which gets older very fast. So that's the reason we have to take care of the hips. And also the flexibility on the hips helps you to find that correct posture. If your hip is tilted forward or backward, it will show on the alignment of the entire body. Now slowly flare, open the knee to the side, pressing the weight onto the outer edge of the left foot as much as possible. Make it at this point, slide the knee slightly backwards, slightly more if it is available for you. If not, just stay as you are. And then if you want to walk both your hands to the opposite side, walk your hand to the opposite side, slightly deepening, hold. Swaying the hips side to side, finding some movement into your hips. What made you circle or movement with your hips? Whatever feels comfortable for you. Okay, moving in a circular motion, reverse the movement as well. In and out, following that breath, staying the focus of the breath, and finding the stillness of the pose, stillness of the mind. And walk your hand back into the center of the mat, and this time slowly walk your left foot over towards the right side of the mat and come into your pigeon. Before you go for the classic pigeon pose, let's stretch and extend through the spine, sliding the right knee backward. Top of your right foot is pressed down. Observe your right thigh, trying to bring the right hip down. Lifting the chest up, walking the hand closer towards you. Keep breathing, opening up your chest, releasing the lower back. Deep stretch for your front right hip flexor and also through the psoas muscle. Keep on breathing, bringing the focus on your hip area, your right quadriceps, left glute. And deep into the pedicons and the hip joints. Keep on breathing. One more deep breath. And slowly walk your hand forward. Walk it up to the extent. You extend through the spine, reaching the hand away from you, 
trying to reach the crown of the head away from you, then bring your forehead down. If not, take a variation. Bring the elbows down. Or maybe rest the forehead on your palm. So the weight of the body is resting on your palm. No stress for the neck. Raja Yoga, what we practice is to find the stillness of your mind. There are various techniques they follow. One of the techniques they follow is focusing on the breath. Mind always plays around. Always thoughts comes into the mind, fluctuating the mind. So if you constantly try to take the thoughts off the mind, it is never going to happen. So the technique they follow is bringing the focus onto one single point. And concentration into that point, and slowly the other thoughts vanish. It's a constant practice. Every time you come into the mat, it keeps on happening. And you make progress slowly. And then you come into a position where you have the stillness of the mind. You'll be able to concentrate for longer time. And the negative thoughts like anxiety, jealousy, ego, all that will just go off. Now slowly release the hand. Slowly walk both your hands closer towards you. Curl your right toe. Slide your right knee forward and release your left leg. Let's take one more last. Easy here, moving the hips in circles. And reverse the circles. And before we go for the wide legged forward fold, let's take one more hip opening here, Manu Basana, frog pose. Here we are going to slide the knees to the side, touching the toes together, walking the hands closer towards you, keep opening the knees towards the side. You can either come like twice into the mat or if you want your knees to slide off, you can keep the knees on the outside of the mat. Open the knees to the side. Yes, toes are touching together, open the knees to the side. And bring the elbows down. Slide open the knees. Yes, that's it. Good. Now, focus on your groin area, your hips. You can gently rock your hips forward and backward. Slowly rock your hips forward and backward. Deep stretch for your inner thighs, your groin, deep external, external rotation of your hips. Now as you walk your hip forward and backward, notice that single point where you are feeling the sensation the deepest. The deep point of the sensation and hanging it. Now your toes are touching together. Slowly open the feet out as you align your ankles and the, and the knee. Stay in the same position. You're only opening the ankles. 
So you align the knee and the ankle in one single straight line. Just for a few more breaths here, it's a deep stretch. Hold, keep breathing. You can gently rock your hip forward and backward. Really stretching the adductors, hip adductors. Few more breaths. Inhale. Alright, now bring both your toes together. Slowly walk your hand back. Bring both your knees closer. And extend both your legs in front of you. Yes, shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake it up. Now, if some of you want to take a, a cushion and sit on the cushion, you're going to do the wide-legged forward fold. Yes, straddle, straddle leg, straddle your legs, turning the toes out. Yes, now to, before you go for the forward fold, take both your hands behind and lift the chest up. As you lift your chest up, you're tilting your tailbone backward. So that helps you to find the tilt of the hip. Lifting the chest up, chin up. Turning the toes out slightly more. And slowly release both your hands. Bring your fingertip forward. And slowly walk your hand forward. Trying to bring the chin down. And keep walking forward. Hang in here for a few breaths. Don't go deep. Stay here and observe the sensation of the body. Some of you are feeling deep on your hamstring, the inner thigh, or others might be feeling on the lower back. Depending on where you are tied. Now identify in those areas and use the breath. Inhale. And as you exhale, ease into that. Notice your abdomen. If you are pulling the abdomen in, trying to reach out forward, it will never happen. As you pull the abdomen in, you are actually holding you backward rather than allowing the body to go deeper into the stretch. Every inhalation, try to extend through the spine. And as you exhale, slowly sink down. Inhale. At this point, if you want to keep the head onto the cushion, or if you have a block, you can place the forehead onto the block and stay. As your head is resting, the whole body relaxes. Your hip relaxes. Your legs relax, your chest relax. And then you can play around. If you want to sink down slightly more, change the position of the block, slightly more, go deeper. Stay there for a few more breaths. And still connecting with your breath. Use the breath as the anchor. Walk your hands back, lift yourself up and slowly bring both your legs together. Press the feet in front of you and gently swing your knees side to side. Next, we are going to lie down on the mat into Sukta Virasana. 
Supta Virasana is you're going to sit on the hero pose. And then you're going to lie down to the back. So you both your knees are bent this time, okay? So if you if it is too difficult for you, you can bring both your feet together into your Baddha Konasana. Feet together, open the knees to the side. So if you're doing the Supta Virasana, both your toes are pointing behind, sinking the hip down. You can keep the block behind you if it is a struggle for you to go back or the both step behind you. Or both. So sitting very close to the both step, press the hand onto the both step and slowly lean back. So you're really getting an opening into the chest also. So even if you can lie down flat onto the mat, I would recommend you to keep the both step behind you. You get a deeper opening into your chest. Deeper opening into the chest means you're opening into your heart chakra. You're opening and stretching through the front side of the body. Your quarter bone is widening. More circulation into your upper part of the body. So if you can keep that both step behind you, find an arch on your back. Hold it in that position so that you can open up your chest. It's a deep stretch for your quadriceps and also stretch for the knees from the front side and deep stretch for the ankles. If you have limited flexibility into your ankles, you will feel deep on your ankle. Now all this time, observing the body, it's natural for us to hold any area of our body tight. Unconsciously, we are holding onto the body tight. So just identify those areas and try to relax. Notice if your hips, your sitting bones are touching down. Noticing the arch on your spine. Notice that opening into your chest. More circulation into your pancreas, your spleen, your liver, your intestine, and all of the organs. As you compress through the back of your body. So you're squeezing the kidneys. Focus on the breath. Take a deep inhale and exhale, holding that breath. Inhale deep, exhale soft. Try to make that every exhalation soft and beautiful. moment if you want to raise both your hands over the head bring both your hands to the heart center and slowly lift both your hands to the center of the body and touch the fingers down over the head and notice that sensation deepening in the front side of the body your good cage opening up the tissues and the muscles between the rib cage Stretching your intercostal muscles, the muscles which are wrapping up your waist, are also stretching. Feel the breath. Slowly bring both your hands forward, bring your hands back into the normal position, hands on to the side of the body, squeeze a little more forward. Now 
As so you're stretching through the front side of the body, you're increasing the elasticity of the body and the muscle and also the skin. From that position, elbows press down and slowly if you want to support your head with one hand, support the head with one hand and slowly lift up. Yes. Now from here release your legs, release both your legs. You can either lie down flat or keep the bolster behind you and lie down onto the bolster. Extending both your legs, straight ahead of you. Hands onto the side of the body, turning the palms up towards the sky, relaxing the shoulders. Relaxing your facial muscles. Softening your gaze. Relaxing your spine. Now if you're lying down onto the bolster, slowly release the bolster from your back and we're going to take a twist. Bend both your knees. Slowly drop both your knees towards the right side and place your right ankle onto the left knee and gaze over towards the left side. So dropping both your knees towards the right side Placing your right ankle on the left knee and trying to bring both your knees down to the ground. Both your shoulders are touching down onto the mat. Your whole body is relaxed. Start feeling that nice stretch through the left side of the body. Your obliques, your left obliques. And some of you, if you're very tight onto the outer side of your thigh, you may feel it on the right outer thigh as well. Your IT band. Now slowly from here. Release your right ankle, lift both your knees up and then drop both your knees towards the left side this time. And placing your left ankle onto the right knee and gazing away from your legs, gazing towards the right side this time. Relaxing your shoulders, allowing the chin to drop towards the right shoulder, giving a nice twist your neck as well. You start feeling the stretch on to the right side of the body. Gentle twist on the spine. Breathing into the sensation. Relaxing the body. Mind is relaxed. Pretty much your nervous system is relaxed. And you are in a state of total relaxation. Three more breaths here. Here, slowly release your left ankle from the right knee and lift the knee up 
into the upright position, swing your knees side to side a few times. Now extend both your legs, hands alongside the body, turning the palm up. into Shavasana. Complete relaxation. Your mind is alert. The awareness of the breath. Deep awareness of your breath. Noticing every inhalation and exhalation. Anytime you're struggling to bring the focus, every inflation, you're seeing your mind let. With every exhalation, you're seeing your mind go. Inhale out, exhale go. Inhale out, exhale go. It's also a technique to bring your focus into your breath. Or maybe another way of bringing the focus is to count your breath. That's a very good way of bringing the focus into yourself. So your inhalation becomes one, your exhalation two, next inhalation three, next exhalation four. And continue counting until ten. Anytime you miss a count, simply go back into number one and see. Then finding the experience. Your body is still to a great extent. Your mind is calm. Slowly bring awareness back to yourself. Notice the subtle movements in your body, movements of your tip of your nose, movements of your abdomen, movement in your chest. Notice the sounds around you, making yourself aware of the surroundings. Make yourself comfortable in the space around you. And the feel of positivity around you. Think if you have rested enough, gently start moving your toes, moving your fingers in circular motion, and reversing the circles, and bringing both your feet together for active stretching. Reach both your hands over the head, interlace the fingers, press the hand away from it. Really squeeze the entire body, hold. You feel that your hip is lifting off the mat, keep breathing. Three, two, one, and let go. Two more times, press the hand away, squeeze the entire body. Active stretching or dynamic stretching. Two, one, and let go. 
One more last time. Press the hand away. Break it slightly longer. Press the feet away. Press your hand away. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let go. Because it was a relaxation practice, your move practice, your flexibility practice, you turn yourself towards the left side into the left side of the body where the yin channel goes. And slowly lift yourself up. Keeping your eyes closed. Pulling the shoulder back a few times, relaxing. Bringing both your hands to the heart center for your closing chant, for all of us to be happy, all of us to be healthy, all of us to see things auspicious, and now to go to anniversary. So please, please, please take a deep inhale.